Welcome to OVW Overdrive, the show that always kicks out at two. I am your host, Brian Kinnison, with me as always, King of the Fanny Packs and Casanova of the Nursing Home, Dance Stevie J, Stephen Johnson. I really like the name. I'm glad that it's sticking, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to OVW Overdrive this Saturday morning. Now, we've got a huge show lined up. We've got a little bit of a a getting to know you with some of our OVW superstars. That's right. This episode of Overdrive is packed with interviews from some of your favorite OVW superstars and some new OVW superstars you haven't quite met yet. Now, we're going to get into that very shortly, but first, some huge, huge breaking news. OVW Women's Champion Madison Rain has been stripped of her championship due to her inability to compete and defend that title. Now, no love lost between Madison and I, but I never like to see it happen that way. Now, so. I, I'm, I'm glad that you brought it up at the beginning of the show mm -hmm. because there was something that I, I, I came across in the handy dandy OVW rule book. Oh, so you as found it, a solution to this whole problem? I did. Okay, as great. it turns out, um, <clears throat> uh, page 499, mm -hmm. uh, article 3, That's a good one. subsection 4. Oh, okay, um, subsection. If for any reason a championship must vacate their title uh, and it goes unclaimed, the last participant in a match against said champion will be honored as champion. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, our new OVW Women's Champion, Big BK, Brian Kennison. No. No. Mm -hmm. No. No. I can't. Man. You're supposed to, we've got a match to pitch to. You're going to. Come on, man. You've got a job to do. Do it. No. Tony Bizzo, interview. Check it out. No. Yeah. It's all you, buddy. You've earned it. All right, guys. With me at this time. One half of the complete package, Supernatural Tony Bizzo. Tony, thank you very much for joining us here this morning. Uh, now, I, I, I see that you're here, and originally we had scheduled for both you and Anthony Katina, your tag team partner in complete package, to be with you here today, uh, noticeably absent. Yeah, I, I understand that. I told them to actually not come to this interview. Uh, okay. Clear as head. Right. Uh, it's much needed. Uh, We've had a tough t you know, title match, of course. Sure, yeah. Uh, he's, you know, I told him to recover. We right. got to get back to the focus on those tag titles because once again, we're not done. Right. We are far from being done. Well, and you shouldn't be. Uh, as you guys saw last week uh, on OVW television, you guys had the legacy of brutality pretty much wrapped up. Everything was going your way uh, until the newest member of the legacy of brutality, the king of the Chicago bear hug, Big Steve Michaels. And I know you probably don't want to hear that name. I definitely do not want to hear his name. Okay. First of all, he's a sellout. Chicago screw bear on top of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, once again, Big Steve, you don't have to come by our backs. Literally, you're 6'6", six, six, 400 pounds of nasty for that matter. I mean, once again, like you said, we had LOB's number, but mm -hmm. once again, there was a number that we didn't count on. Right. But best believe, you can, LOB, we're not done. And Big Steve, you just bought into a war and definitely a war that you're not going to win. All right, uh, big words. Um, I, uh, I, I wish you guys the best of luck, and, and hopefully next time the LOB will kind of, you know, play a fair game, even though that's not necessarily what they're known for. Uh, but with that being said, of course, you know, the goal of every tag team and the goal of every wrestler here in OVW is to earn championship gold. Right now, you guys uh, might not be next in line for that tag team gold. How are you guys preparing for what might be that next step to get there? I mean, once again, it's, uh, you know, back to the drawing board. I mean, we're like, we're not going to kill our routine. Our routine has been, you know, gotten us. We were undefeated even before that tag team right. title run. Right. I mean, once again, LOB had to have a five against two against us. I think that's still pretty, pretty good odds on their part. But once mm -hmm. again, we're types of people that we will go to war for whatever goal that we're trying to accomplish, regardless if it's six against two, 20 against two, it doesn't matter. Clearly we're the complete package. You see us in the ring, right. I mean, without the jackets, definitely without the jackets of what we can do. And you see what I can do to a 300 pound man, Zoe and Cash, easily putting them on their backs. I mean, once again, our goal is still the same. 
and that is focusing on getting the OVW tag team titles. But regardless, we are two individual great performers, but together we are an amazing team. These war trophies that we've been trying to focus on, mm -hmm. that is our main focus and we would not be distracted. Okay, now with that being said, you said that you guys were great individually. Now, uh, have you had any aspirations lately for maybe going after some singles gold? I know you guys have been on fire. Like you said, undefeated as a tag team. But if, if this stalls, have you considered the notion of going out on your own? I mean, it's always been the thought. I mean, once again, I'm always open to his goals. I won't speak on my tag partner since sure. he's not here, but I can speak on myself. The heavyweight title is still my goal. Mm -hmm. I mean, once again, right now, obviously, the tag titles are on the hunt for us right now. But mm -hmm. obviously, it's more than that. It's definitely that they made it personal what they did. Okay. So I'm, uh, we're both men, and we definitely have our manhood against LOB. So... Um, we do have aspirations of both of us being heavyweights, but that's what makes us a team. Okay. Uh, or a great team for that matter. Not right. just the team, that's why we click. We sure. like to win. Right. And one thing's for certain, when we hit those curtains, regardless if we're not together or we're together, we have one thing in mind and that's getting a victory. Well, and you would have had it, like we said, if it wasn't for the interference of a certain unnamed new member of the Legacy of Brutality. I'll leave it at that. Um, and I know that you guys aren't going to dwell on that, and, and you're moving forward and you're moving through quick. Uh, what's the routine like for you guys as far as getting prepared? Uh, are, are you guys in the gym together? Do you guys, are, are, you, are you more like brothers? Or are you more like business associates? I mean, we're more like in regards to, he, he, uh, we obviously live far apart. He lives up North Handles business himself, but mm -hmm. we're always in contact with each other each day. Uh, more so like, what hey, are you focused on this? What We're focused on that. We can't tell you our secrets because once again, if you tell us our secrets, everyone's going to be trying it. People could be getting hurt because right. we do some extreme workouts. And obviously, you got to be extreme to get these extreme bodies of ours. Got it. But at the end of the day, we are on the same page and we are, we are focused. And like I said, we're not getting set back. He's clearing his head. The mountain is literally like he's is literally just the, the minimal point, the, the right. mountaintop, literally sure. the minimal point from, okay. just like myself. Seriously. Congratulations, buddy. I don't know if this is how you planned on winning it or if you even planned on winning it at all, but here it is. Your new OVW women's champion, ladies and gentlemen. You made history here, Brian. You got it? Yeah. You, I just got it. You, know, you got it. With great power comes great responsibility. You know that. You're a comic book nerd. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, yeah. I've All seen right. a lot like Spider Man. What a web we weave. What a web we weave indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The Wrestling Brand. Our number one priority in life is the protection of our loved ones and ourselves. We at Comprehensive Health and Wellness are here to help. During these challenging and uncertain times, Comprehensive Health and Wellness can supply you with the personal protection equipment you need for you and your loved ones to feel more secure. Go to chw.care or call 800-963-7066 to get yours today. That's chw.care or 800-963-7066. All right, man, the more I'm thinking about it, I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good. good. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling glad. good. I'm the OVW Women's Champion. That's right, Brian K. Amazing, OVW Women's Champion. I'll fight any woman. I'll take on all comers. I'll be a fighting champion. But you should, you should word that differently? I will fight everyone but my fiance. Baby, I did this for you. I love you, Ashley. Woo! And this also for lead development, my beagle. Bald Eagle Beagles from a, yeah. from a dog. Okay. Anyway, speaking of championships, Ryan Howe made his big day or return to OVW television this last Tuesday. On that championship up, he could smell the gold in his nose, but he had to get through the Nephilim, Damone Solovino, first. Check it Check out. Check it out. You're absolutely right, Brian. And with Ryan Howe looking to get right back into the title picture, all it takes is one slip up here against Damone, and he's right back to the bottom of the card. Now they go right into the match. Looks like they got into a collar and elbow type guys and straight to the corner and then straight to a headlock from Rockstar Ryan Howe. Oh, 
Damone able to muscle out of it, gets into an arm bar of his own. Oh, did you see that right there? Great move. He took the leg out of Damone, of uh, Ryan Howe. Well, Damone has great ring awareness. You're not wrong. The Nephilim was able, like you said, put that foot in behind the leg and make him buckle. It's all that counts is the wins and losses here in OVW. Doesn't matter if it's pretty as long as the seconds count to three, I think they say. Do they? Somebody said that, I'm sure. Or it could be 10 if you get counted out. There's multiple ways of winning. You know yeah, that. And then there's disqualifications. I, I think they're... Oh, big jawbreaker there. Did Ryan... that mask have any padding in it, though? The referee did not Very check well the mask. Yeah, that's a good point. I want to know what's behind that. There's a sunset oh, flip. Or it could have rocks in it, and it could do damage to his knee. Oh, big clothesline from the Nephilim takes Ryan Howe off his feet. Again, guys, I can't tell you again how impressed I am by this young Nephilim. Really taking it to Ryan Howe and really just showing what he's capable of. Ryan Howe, he's, he's made of tougher material than most men. I, I, I don't think that this is going to take him out, but again, I've seen crazier things happen here in OVW. Damone Solovino really making a believer out of me tonight, gentlemen, i got to be honest. Big whip to the corners, whips him so hard, takes himself down to the ground. Both these men just winded, tired, yeah. just after taking to each other at 150% this entire time. Look at time. that. Oh. Oh. Damone, and he may have taken off his wings when he came down. to the ring, but he's still flying out there. Yeah, able to, to get back ring. into the ring. Look at All that. Right. Take a little much time show, buddy. Oh. Right now, oh, makes him pay with the big clothesline. The moment maybe should have not turned around. He didn't like what he saw when he did. Oh, oh. Double Double under DDT. Under DDT and... Big win for Brian Howe after a game. Nephew Here's really your winner, Brian Howe. Picking up the win, fellas, but Damone Solovino, a game competitor, really might have been opened some eyes in OBW management. But we've got so much more OBW action coming up. Stick around, we'll be right back after the break. Big win by rock star Ryan Howe in his return. We hadn't seen him in a while, but he was looking good, looking jacked, and I don't know what was going on. They might have had some, some animosity in the locker room, but these guys were really going at it. It was a great match, Stephen, but how impressive was Ryan Howe picking up the win. <laughs> Hasn't been in the ring for a while. Not a single sign of ring rust, though. Yeah, the taste bad, the puns. But anyway, speaking of tasting bad, DL3 was in action a little bit later on in the evening. He faced off against an undefeated Roman Roselle, the Green Beret NCAA record holder, trying to hold on to that undefeated streak. DL3 with Cal in tow had some issues lately. Let's see how it went. Now, it's going to be interesting for the campaign. You have the campaign trying to get those votes facing off against the veterans. I'll tell you what, DL3 is looking very patriotic. Yeah. DL3 taking exception to Roman interacting with this crowd here and uses Cali as a distraction, as a weapon. Oh! You heard DL3 said he's the real hero around here. I mean, he is the one who's patriotically dressed. DL is on a different level as of late with this frustration. He's just taking it out on Cali. Seems like he's just distracted. Goes in and gets it rolled up by Roselle immediately. I mean, do you realize how hard it is to wrestle in suspenders? Well, the suspenders seem to fall off every week, so any of the one. So I'm going to guess it's pretty hard to wrestle in suspenders. Shoulder block from Roselle since DL3 to the outside, trying to recoup. Taking boost to the corner of DL. you got to match Roman is frustrated at this point with the actions of DL3. Look out. Look out. Oh. Oh, goes for that big splash, but DL3 sneaks out of the way. Roselle and then hit from behind by DL3. And DL3 has created an opening for himself right here. If he could take advantage and get momentum, he could walk away with the W tonight and, and give Roman Roselle his first loss here in OBW. This could be huge. He turns around and starts admonishing Kelly. Again, you need to stop that DL3 and focus on the task at hand. You gotta give him a little bit of credit. See, you get CDL3 working on that shoulder, knows Roselle cannot lock in that Patriot's wheel if his arm is messed up. So you gotta give it to DL3 for his focus, even when trying to give it to Kelly. Oh! Big he's, punches in the mid He's using that hurt arm to throw those punches. You gotta think, do they have the same effect as they would if he were at 100%? You can see though, every every shot he lays with that arm is still killing him. Roman wraps up DL3, but DL3 rakes the ass of Roselle. Desperation move right there. Yep. He was—he had his back to the referee. She didn't see a thing. Shannon, I'm surprised you called it a desperation move and not a clever maneuver. Well, it was a desperation move and a clever maneuver at the same time. But Callie Young causing a distraction out here. Oh, big Northern Lights oh. suplex. 
Alex from Roselle oh, calls it the code red. And that's usually the, the precursor. Uh-oh. Here we go. We've seen this before in the previous weeks. Oh! Looks in that Patriots wheel. Oh, DL3 taps that almost immediately. Here's your winner, Roman Roselle. Roman Roselle picks up the win, continues his undefeated streak, Shannon. Roman Roselle continues to roll. DL3, I'll give him a 10 for fashion, but I don't know, maybe a two or three for performance tonight. Can Roselle continue this momentous run he has going, this undefeated streak? Only time will tell, and hopefully the time will tell us if DL3 and Cali can get back on the same page. All right, the Roselle train rolls right on. Roman Roselle picks up another win with that Patriots wheel over DL3. And, and what, so what was going on with, with Cali Young? You see on the outside of the ring, she has this, this armband. And if I remember correctly, it, those colors may match a certain AJZ's ring attire, maybe? Yeah, Steve, for the last couple of weeks, we've seen Callie and AJZ interacting backstage. Uh, you know, you can see a little bit of butterflies in little their eyes. A little touch and go, a little touch and go. They're being a little flirty with one another. I don't know how DL3 feels about it. but I can tell you he doesn't love it, no matter how much this love story might be developing. He doesn't love what's happening because he feels like Callie's not paying as much attention to the match as she should be. Sure. But... Speaking of someone who's worried about how things are going, Adam Revolver's come out the last few weeks and has told everyone how disgusting they are and how safe we need to be. And he's not necessarily wrong that we need to be safe, but his method could use some work. Check it out. We are in this together. Look at the sign language Together, guy. we are in this. Yeah. You can say it with me. We are in this together. We are in this together. And together, we are in this. We are in this. The first point I would like to make is to be healthy at home. Do you know what that means? The answer is no, because I'm here to tell you that you need to wash your hands. I checked under my Always, seat, nothing. I'm so always, always, always wear your mask. Unless it's a protest, then the rules don't count. <laughs> That's true, you know. It's true. This is Dr. Gertrude. Yeah. Dr. Gertrude. When you look out on this crowd and you see the half stupid looks on their faces oh, and you on. can just assume that their mouths are agape behind their masks, do you think America stands a chance at getting rid of coronavirus? Absolutely not. Oh, thank you so much. You may have a seat. She is, hey, listen, she is a real doctor. You can check out her YouTube page, okay? Dr. Faulty. Dr. Faulty. Faulty. <laughs> These can't be Dr. Real Faulty. Dr. Faulty. This looks like some mall Santa. In all okay. your years of experience, looks a lot your masterful like expertise, your Dr. dedication Santa. to training and understanding medical science, do you think these people can climb out of the sludge brain mentality that they have, achieve a first grade level of understanding, and be basically competent enough to wash their hands? <laughs> Absolutely not. I would like to conclude by letting you know that this time that you've taken is an investment in yourselves because it's going to be us who get through this. We will get through this. We will get through this together. And remember, the most important thing that you can do is tell on each other. Thank you <laughs> and have a happy and healthy week. All right, now Adam Revolver, obviously, uh, he's, he's saying the right things. He wants to be six feet apart from everybody. He's doing all that. Are you, you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm just polishing. Okay, Go on. Cool. Um, but I feel like it's not so much that he's, he's practicing the safe social distancing or what have you. I feel like he's just trying to find his way out of any competition. Revolver's a, a bit of a weasel. We're not going to take anything away from that. I mean, look at the company he keeps. You got Shannon and the dude, uh, the weaseliest of all radio announcers in Louisville. Everybody knows that. But anyway. Adam Revolver, yeah, probably has ulterior motives, so all these things he's saying are for the best. Again, we don't necessarily disagree with him that it's, it's time to be safe, but Adam Revolver's not worried about being safe from COVID. On. He's worried about being safe from boots and fists and slams. That's yeah. all it is. Of which he deserves all of them. Now, up next, after the commercial break, we've got a sit-down interview that you have. You, we don't have a sit-down interview. Your OVW Women's Champion has a sit-down interview with OVW newcomer Kayla Cassidy. Stick around. We'll see you after the I'm break. I'm talking about the royal we, as in OVW. I'm royal. All right. Royalty. 
Have you ever had the dream of being a part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment? Take action and make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, Ohio Valley Wrestling, the birthplace of legends such as John Cena, Batista, Brock Lesnar, Cody Rhodes, The Miz, and many, many more. Will you be the next name to be added to that impressive list? Go to ASWA Live now for more information. Learn the right way. I'm Barry Ratcliffe, and you might recognize me from the hit TV show, Nash Bridges, with my good lifelong friend, Don Johnson. Now this baby, zero to 60 in 2.2 seconds. That's faster than your mom, but you want to be more fast. You want to be more furious. OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99 a month. This car costs $363,000. That's a savings at $4.99 of $747,000 and 37 seconds. You want to be more fast. You want to be more furious. Order today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, OVW newcomer, Kayla Cassidy. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm Brian. No, 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 no. Where, where's the tall guy? You know, with the flowery shirt, the one that actually has style. Where's he at? You talking about Steve? Yeah, uh, I guess that's his name. Well, he was supposed to be doing my interview. No, Steve's not available yet. And also, be... where is my hair and makeup artist? I need my hair done. It's going a little flat. It's humid in here. I mean, where's the AC? Where's the AC? Where's the AC? Well, we can't. Run. It is hot in here. It's hot. Where's my makeup artist? Where's my hair? Well, we can't run the AC because of the mics, and then we don't have a makeup artist. Are you kidding on me right now? Oh. Are you kidding me right now? On my first day here. On my first day here. This is the treatment that I get? Are it, was, you it wasn't intentional, I promise you. We had the best of intentions. Hold my gum. Hold my gum. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's so minty. Ridiculous. It's so minty. Okay. Well, Miss Cassie, thank you for the time you're giving us today. I'm sorry I'm not Steve, but uh, let's, let's get a little bit about you, because this audience has never met you before. We, we, and we've been known that you're told you're the billion dollar brat. Tell us, what does that mean? Who's the billion dollar brat? I think we got an idea. Uh, well, clearly I'm rich and you are poor. I mean, did you get those clothes at the Goodwill? So we Is that where you got them? No. Oh, you guys probably got that at the Goodwill, didn't you? No, this was a gift that's, from That's Snow. extremely cheap. Have you, do you see the way I dress? I'm a professional. You're clearly I, not. I don't like how long of a pause that was. I feel like there's a lot of words you would put. Okay, it's, it's, it's nowhere here nor there. Okay, so what brought you to OVW? You're clearly here, already think you're better than everybody. Why, why are you here then? Why, why OVW? Uh, well, first of all, I got a nice little phone call by Al Snow saying that he wanted me to come and debut for OVW. So, here I am. Well, that doesn't make sense. Al told me his phone's been broke for weeks, and that's why he hasn't called me back. Oh, he probably just doesn't like you. It's okay. That's probably right. Okay. All right. Well, fine. Okay. So, fine. Welcome to OVW. Al Snow called you. That's great. So, what are your plans now that you're here? I mean, we know you know you're you're a seasoned competitor. We know you you've, you've been to a lot of different organizations. Why OVW? Why here? What what? Al called you, sure, but what drew you? Uh, what drew me? Well, first of all, I like gold. Sure. And so, I'm a woman of opportunity, and when an opportunity comes knocking at my door, I take it. That's and I go for it. Don't interrupt me. And I go for it. And whatever I want, I always get. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not arguing. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I feel like I've already upset you without having makeup and AC and now questions and not being Steve. Okay. We're well, here. Might have some news that'll cheer you up. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I did find out that you are going to be in this. We found out Madison Rain had her OVW women's title stripped because she was not able to uh, defend it. We found out there's going to be a five-woman scramble for that title, and you are going to be an entrant in that match. Is that right? Not only that, it's going to be your OVW debut for the OVW Women's Championship. Is that right? A scramble match? Yes, four other competitors. Four. You know what? Are you asking me this because, you know, you think I'm intimidated because it's four other competitors? Is that what it is? No, I'm asking you because that's the, the situation you're in. The situation, man. Really, really. Well, let me address something real quick. Any match that I'm in, I, are you kidding me right now? I'll get it. I'll get That's it. That's unsanitary. Yep, I'll get it. Throw I'll, it away. I'll, I'll get it. Throw it away. Okay. What kind of business is this? I don't know where to put it. You know what? You can shove it up. So about that five-way match, okay, mm. so you're, you're, oh, de debut, you're fighting for the Women's Championship. That's got to mean something to you. Even though you're the, you're the billion-dollar brat, you have houses, you have, you have mansions, you have islands, you have cars. You have a title. What does that mean to you in your debut match? 
Uh, well, you know, the title, that's just adding the cherry on top, the little sprinkle sprinkles on top, you know what I'm saying? So, I have houses, I have cars, unlike you, you probably have, what, a station wagon? It's a key Rio. <laughs> okay, cheap. And so, now I'm going after the women's championship, because have you seen me? I, have you seen me? You can't tell me, no. You can't tell me that gold won't look great on me. Miss Cassidy, I, I'm not debating that. And you, you will say this, you are a beautiful person, but speaking to that, I know for a fact you used to be a fan of the beautiful people, which Madison Rain was a part of. Now, Madison Rain does have an opportunity to be in that five women scramble. If she shows up, do you think you have what it takes to take Madison, take it to Madison Rain? You know, I used to be a fan of the beautiful people when I was like 12, but now they're just washed up wannabes. And honestly, who would want to be a fan of them when there's Kayla Cassidy? Look, I, I have no love lost for Madison Rain, but you can't disrespect what she's done in her career. <sighs> Madison's okay. She's good. She's good. But she doesn't know what I'm capable of. I'm young. I'm beautiful. Madison's old and washed up and outdated. I mean... And she's... And she's, it's, and she's, and she's what? She's what? She's a mean person. I can tell you that person. Oh, she's, she's, she's a mean person. Oh, well, guess what? Madison hasn't seen mean yet. I'm getting very similar Do you want to say anything too. else, ignorant? Nope. I just want to wish you the best of luck in your fatal five way for the OBW Women's Championship. It's going to be a heck of a match, heck of a debut, I'm sure. Ms. Cassidy, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. Do you want your gum back? Do no, I want? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kayla Cassidy, the here? Billion Dollar Brat. Yes, we're done. Who's holding whose gum now, Kayla? Yeah, got her. I got her. That is obnoxious. And where'd you get that gum? It's it's her gum from earlier. I I needed it to prove a point, and but I didn't want to go to the store because we're filming. So it's still her gum, but like she's holding. I appreciate I, I, you I, not leaving to go to the store to prove a point. However, I don't know if you realize now this this interview is going to take on a whole different kind of meaning now that, that we've got a new champ. Uh, with that being said, I mean, you're, you're part of the scramble now. And, and, and she's in it. <clears throat> Last I heard, I mean, we're looking to bring in Max the Impaler again. Megan Bain has been calling. She's itching to come back. I mean, this is an exciting moment for you. You get to prove yourself right off the bat as OVW Women's We gotta go to break. I'm swallowing my gum. We'll be right back with an interview with Jay Bradley Dimes. I swallowed my gum. You swallowed her gum. I swallowed. It's not your gum. <laughs> you deserve that. If you're like 58% of Americans, you never went to college. Or you did, but never finished. Why? It was just a hassle going back and forth to campus. At Independence University, all classes are online. No driving to campus. No one at the college even knew my name. At Independence U, you'll get a personal support team. And they'll all know your name. Too many extra costs, like books, fees, parking. We don't have extra costs. We even give you a new laptop and tablet to keep when you graduate. I couldn't fit my schedule around classes. At Independence U, college fits your schedule. Four plus years to get a degree? With us, you could finish in three. At a typical college, no one cares. Caring about students is what we do best. Independence University held my hand through the process. Don't be afraid to take the leap because it has changed my life drastically. If I did it, you can do it too. Independence U is designed for busy adults like you. 1-855-486-2551. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, the best heavyweight in the world, Jay Bradley. <laughs> hey buddy, oh. how are you? Oh, that hurts so much. <laughs> And Rush Division champion Dimes. I'm also the. I'm heavyweight too, right? Uh, no, no. Okay, go. Uh, Byron, Hold I up. heard that there would be bottle service. Where are the girls? You get five <sighs> minutes. Wait, hold on. What? Hold on. Make okay. them count. First go. Up, it's Brian, and you know that we're friends. We've talked. We ignore questions. him. Questions. Ignore him. Talk to me. I'm the one in charge. I do want to talk to you, actually. Okay. Okay. Where's Brock? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. What? I you leave for three months, I don't hear from you, I think we're really good friends, and you don't even answer your phone, all of a sudden not, you pop back up with just, dimes. Just, no, and you, what, wait, wait, no, we're not, we were never good friends. Best friends, sorry, not good friends, no, best friends, not, I meant to be clear. Oh. I'm sorry, did you sign a contract with this man? Oh Mr. Friendship Bradley is my insurance. Oh I don't care about you being, you're just, oh, friends, friends. Oh. I'll explain it. I will explain it for all of you and you, okay? Yeah, where does the insurance pretty time. come from? Pretty time. Tell them. Pretty time. Pretty time. Pretty time. I mean, you be quiet. 
when I talk. Pretty tough. This is a business agreement. I went back, looked over some contractual agreements that I had signed with OVW, Dean Hill, him, found a nice loophole. A loophole big enough that I could fit my big heavyweight body in. Six and a half foot loophole. Yep, me too. Oh my God, no, so, just me. Okay. So, I called up Dimes, I said, hey, I think you and I can help each other out. It's business, that's all it is. And we all know who's in charge. No, okay, no. not me. That's right. Okay, so that makes, uh -huh. okay, that makes me feel better. It's business. What we have is different. It's personal. I get that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate oh that. That's better. Okay, I feel better now. You, you heard it. You're rambling. Now, You're fat. Dimes, let me ask you. You got a six and a half foot monster behind you now. Is that why you've been acting so ridiculous? I feel like it's the words that's been used online. Well, you know, me, I'm 6'5", 240. I just, have, I just added another monster along, you know, to go with Stop me, that. So. that. Stop that. That's mine. Stop that. So, you know, I mean, everybody needs an insurance plan, and Mr. Bradley here, he's my insurance. Don't, don't, let's, we're not like that. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Don't cut your we're like that. Okay, but okay, so insurance is one thing. That's fine, but uh, do you need insurance? Now you're just messing with Corey Storm? Like, I get it. You, yeah! you interrupted the first match, helped Dimes win. Now you guys what? are just... Oh, no, 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 no. This is, this, this but you, you question us about Corey Storm? I'm questioning. Okay, come on, so... Come on, spit it out. You help you help Dimes re retain, which is fine. You did the business you wanted to do there while he brought you back. Why you guys keep messing with the kid? Why not? At this point, it's fun. Oh, yeah, I mean, have you seen him? Yes, yeah, I forget him. that guy. He dresses up like a superhero. Yeah. I bring him out. He beats him up. I yeah. beat him up a little bit. Push ups in his face. No, it's no, hilarious. Who beat him up? Uh, we beat him up. No, 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 no. I, I beat him up. I and beat then, him up. And then oh I, my God. Now, I have, anyway. I, I have a hard time believing that you guys are doing this to Corey just because it's fun. Now, I know you, obviously, you had a personal vendetta with Corey before you even left. You obviously have a very deep personal vendetta with Corey. Are you sure it's not personal? Maybe you guys feel a little threatened by Corey? What? What's I mean, it? Was threatened by Corey? Co Corey has been an incredible competitor, one of the I think best you're WWE I think you're threatened by him. Yeah. I think that's are you, what are you Are you mad because he might be taller? Might be. That's not. What? 6'5", 240. If you're 6'5", 240, so, I'm like Manute Bull. I'm like 7'7", seven 7, 400 pounds. Yeah, he's Manute right, Bull. Anyway. How dare you talk to him that way? Messing with Corey's just fun at this point. It's not like he's going to do anything about it. He can't do anything about it. I've boomsticked him so many times, he can't <laughs> think straight. Okay, glad you guys said that. What if, he, what if he does? What if he finds somebody that doesn't like you guys and doesn't like what you're doing? What if he... <laughs> He thinks he's going to find someone bigger than me. He thinks Corey's got friends. <laughs> he thought he was his friend. <laughs> Corey doesn't have any friends. And no. what, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? Go to the LOB who have been beating him up to get someone just as big as me or bigger? No, ain't going to happen. Okay, yeah. To be fair, yeah, okay. He would have to hire a very, very big partner to kind of equal the scales a little bit. But, uh, okay, you brought up the LOB. Have you, have you talked to them at all since you've been back? Uh, I mean, it's business. I don't think I'm... I don't think I need to ask any different than that. I mean, they haven't said anything to me, and I'm being the LB. I feel like I would have heard no, about no, it. No, no, you're not. You're not. We're well, not in the no, LB no, anymore, no, so you no, don't know not. that. No, you're not. You're not. Trust me, I know that. Huh. You're not in the LB, so you don't know either. Don't need to be. Okay, so, okay. We don't need to worry about you whether You really are jealous that he might be taller than you. I'm jealous he's your best friend now. I'm, <clears throat> I'm, no. So what's next for you guys? No, 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 no. What is next for you guys? I mean, okay, you're, you're picking on Corey Storm. You're the Russian yeah. champion. You guys are clearly a unit now. No, 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 this is a business agreement. I make the decisions. Yep, I put I make the, the decisions. No, I just said that. I make, I the, make the decisions. No, I make I the decisions. Make the decision. No. Yeah. Stop. You work for me. Oh my God. I cut your checks. Yes. Anyway. I can. Look, boot, stick, whole thing. Okay, look, guys. You know what? Clearly, you guys have a view of how it's happened. And I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. Probably, probably is exactly how it happened, word for word, verbatim. But why don't we? Why don't we take a look back at some of the wait, tape? Wait, 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 wait. Are you, are you, are you inferring? Are you a little, little rumor and innuendo that it didn't go down like we're saying? What are you saying? Yeah, what are, what are you talking about? What I'm saying what? is you, were, you what? are one of the most honest people. Of, I don't trust you. You're one of the most honest people I've ever met. I don't trust him either. And I, I believe yeah. what you're saying, but I just want to look at the tape. So what, what do we I need to look, look at the tape, tape for? We need to look at tape for. It's just for TV. It's just no, for TV. No, no, no. These people TV? saw it. They know what's going on. They know what happened with Corey. Dude, Corey was going to cheat. Corey threw a chair in the ring. I happen to be there to stop damage done to Dimes. He's got, he doesn't have a lot going for him. He doesn't need any more hills to climb. 
Got it? I get it. Jay, you're a good okay. man. I'm not saying that you probably, you probably had the best of intentions. Best of intentions. Oh, well. But Noble. let's go to the tape so the people can see your good intentions. Let's just go to the tape. Mary, roll. Roll the film. I wasn't trying to offend you. Roll it. Everything that he had before, he still has all those tools. Well, Brian, those are harsh words. I feel like you might have a personal vendetta against Dimes, but that's neither here nor there. He watches the television show. He'll see what's going now, on. I bet if Dimes had a fourth wish, it would involve oh. you not being here at the commentary Dimes desk anymore. Look out! Oh, no! But Dimes just made good friends with referee Dave Harmon as Corey drop kicks him into the referee. Dave Harmon's down. Corey going for the big suplex. Oh, Whoa. big neckbreaker suplex there. Corey going for that pin, just One. collapsing on Dimes. Two. Well, Three. you can count how you want. It doesn't matter. We don't Four. have a referee out here who's conscious. Barrage we saw in the opening match running on fumes himself. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here comes. Oh, we know that guy. We know the that insurance is. policy. Jay Bradley. Oh. oh. Dimes took out the, the referee. Another That's one bites the dust. <laughs> we got two. Oh, oh. No. Corey just drop, just super kicks that chair to Dimes' face. Uh-oh, here comes Jay Bradley. Here comes the insurance policy. Jay Bradley making his presence known. Oh, what's he gonna do? What's Jay Bradley doing? Is he... Look at this! Oh, oh man! Oh, big choke slammed as Corey Storm onto the chair. Oh, my gosh, he threw him like a rag doll. He's supposed to get involved. Two! No. Here it is! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Corey's up! Corey Storm kicks out at two and nine Time for Corey to recover. Uh, Jay Bradley back in the ring. He's cashing in the intro. Uh oh, I think he's turning up the boomstick. Oh, Corey reverses it. Instagram Jay Bradley out of the ring. We're fighting two on one without a referee. Corey distracted. He's going to go for that dive. Oh, but Dimes catches him. Dimes rolls him up. He got him. Oh, yeah. I don't believe it. He got him. I don't believe it. Here is your winner. Division champion, Dimes! Corey Storm had it, got distracted from Jay Bradley, allows Dimes to get the distraction, and the roll up win. Corey Storm beside himself, fellas. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The Wrestling Brand. at OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. It's only $4.99 a month. In between excitement, me too! OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99 a month. You get that incredible value. She cost me $17 million and I loved it. Want a real value? OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. It's only $4.99. That's a price so low. Well, it's insane. Ah. So that was a heck of an interview with Jay Bradley. I mean, the, the chemistry is always going to be there because we're best friends. And he brought along dimes, which is... Just fine. His, who's his new best friend? It's I not mean. his best friend. It's not his best friend. You heard him. Jay Bradley said verbatim, Brian, what we have is real, organic, and what we have is just is so strong like oak. What I have with dimes is all business. You heard him say that. I, exactly. heard, I heard some of those words, not necessarily in that order. You clearly weren't listening. Jay was very sweet to me. I'm a terrible listener, I will say, but I can guarantee that that's not what well, he said. Quit trying to put a gap between Jay and I. Let's just pitch your interview. Okay, so uh, there, there's time. there's an interview between best friends, and then there's an interview between me and who I hope to be my new best friend, Luscious Lawrence, uh, along with his partner, his, his, his partner in crime, whatever you want to call him. Dylan McQueen, a uh, very interesting interview we had earlier. Um, I'm still waiting to hear what's going to happen between all of us moving forward. But again, great interview. Check it out. All right, guys, with me at this time, I'm not going to lie, they're my favorites. Um, I, I'm, I, I don't want to say I'm nervous, but, uh, I, you know, I'm, <clears throat> pardon me if, if I seem that I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a little bit too much of a fan here. But we've got Dylan Steve, McQueen. Steve, Steve, shut up, shut up. Before yes, we answer any of your stupid questions, first thing I want to do is put up a heart and spread love to all my haters out there in the OVW universe. Now, you may continue. Any further questions you can address to my mouthpiece here.
Dylan McQueen. Okay, uh, so so Dylan McQueen. Um, first, thank you for for allowing me the opportunity to talk with you guys today. Uh, it's an honor is an understatement. Uh, but with yeah, that being said, sure. with that being said, so you show up not too long ago, and uh, immediately uh, it's effective. Luscious, you start winning, and um, I I see that you're you're doing great things for Luscious. My question is not so much why are you there, but Luscious. Why didn't you at least give me a call? Oh. You could have I, given me a tryout, just one. You know, I've got a lot of, you know, great moves. We've all got the, the chests. Are you done? I'm, I'm sorry, are, are you done? Because you shouldn't be worried about why Luscious is all of a sudden winning. He should have been winning this whole entire time. That's what right. you should be worried about is how the colossal mistake happened that OVW dropped the ball on such a talent like my client. That's what should disturb you. That's what should keep you up at night, honey, okay? Well, I have been up at night. I've been worried. Um, but I, again, I've, I'm, I'm glad that we're able to get through this here on television in front of everybody. I'm sure they're, they're welcoming all of this. Now, the, the future here, um, are you guys looking to add more, more talent, if you will? Are you looking, is it just the two of you? Let me tell you something. I am a fine scout of talent all across the wrestling world. And whatever it takes to help Luscious win gold mm -hmm. is whatever we're gonna do. But you don't need to worry huh, about Luscious, okay? Hold in here, hold right. in here, focus. Right. OBW's hottest star is on the rise and that's what you need to go tell all these little people, all these little people watching at home, that's what you should be worried about is where Luscious Lawrence is gonna strike next, honey. So uh, do you have any updates? Are, are, you, are you willing to clue us in, clue the fans in? What is next for Luscious Lawrence? Let me tell you. Keep watching OVW TV and the result is gonna be the same, okay? Luscious is gonna keep winning and that's what you can expect. And if you've got anything shiny around your waist, honey, there's a target on your back. So it, it sounds like you guys have aspirations for gold here in OVW. Are you thinking maybe the right, Rush gold. Division Championship or are we going for the World Championship? Maybe you guys could work as a tag team. Maybe we can introduce wow, some maybe we can tell you all of our secrets right now. Yeah, maybe that'd be a great idea with all of our opponents watching. Great idea. How about you stay tuned, stay focused, and watch as success rises to the top, honey. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little jealous. Uh, maybe, uh, again, maybe we can introduce some sort of a, like a, a trio's uh, belt, and the three of us mm. can tag... Uh, team better, and take on the competition. Better not. No? Better not. Yeah. Um, I really yeah, feel like let's, again let's with that. everything. That, <laughs> no. What? That's a shame. It really is. It's kind of heartbreaking. But I'll move on. We'll get through it. I'll move on. We'll get through it. Um, yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. Um, so, last question: Is there anybody in particular out there that you want to talk to out there in the OVW world? either uh, another wrestler, maybe a certain fan, somebody you want to bring in, somebody you want to challenge. Listen, I don't know if you have like a, a, a hearing problem, but I literally just told you, we're not going to tell all of our secrets right now. Come on, you got to give us something. No, we actually don't have to give you anything because what has Luscious Lawrence been given in OVW? Nothing. He has had to work for every single thing that he has earned. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the locker room by storm. And maybe everyone should be watching their back, honey, because we don't discriminate. Mm. You're great. All right, so guys. Great. I know. Thank you. I'd like, I, don't want it to, I don't want it to end. I, I hope you guys can, can sit around for an hour or two. Um, I'll, I'll bring out the TV. We can, I'll, I'll get a movie. We can watch The Notebook. Are you guys cool with that? Are you guys, y'all want to watch The Notebook with us? What are you guys whispering about? You know what? That's not your business, but maybe something that could be your business. Why don't you go ahead and talk about my client, Luscious Loris versus AJ Daniels. How about that? All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, up next, we've got Mr. Zero Gravity, AJ Daniels versus Luscious Lawrence, Mr. Juicy himself. I'm heartbroken here, guys. This is... <sighs> maybe next Check it out, guys. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, making his way to the ring, being accompanied by Dylan McQueen, Luscious Lawrence. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to OVW Overdrive. I'm your host, 
Wait, no, that's not right. I forgot. I'm your announcer, Dancing Stevie J, along with Big BK Brian Kennison. And we've got one of my favorites, Mr. Juicy himself, Luscious Lawrence. And he's got himself a partner this week. That's right, Steve. We got Luscious Lawrence now. He's been flanked by a Dylan McQueen. Now, we've seen Dylan McQueen. Now, I like the color coordination that these guys did. All the pink, all the sparkles. I really, I'm buying what these guys are selling. And what they're selling is real juicy. Now, Steven, we've before seen Luscious uh, come out with a Miss Queen Aminata by his side. Now, Queen Aminata obviously not been here lately, but Dylan McQueen coming in immediately seems to have this connection with Luscious Lawrence. Seems to be very supportive of the juicy one. The yeah, Aminata. he's getting a little sassy with the referee and the fans here. I don't understand what that's all about. Oh, I get it now. He needed someone to properly hold his mirror. The yeah. officials haven't been doing it. Doing it properly. No. Haven't been holding Luscious's mirror. Oh, Charlene, a hell of a referee. Terrible mirror holder. Who knew? So that, this and his opponent, Zero Gravity, AJ Daniel. Yeah, I hope Dylan McQueen holds on to that mirror tight because Mr. Zero Gravity, AJ Daniel's on his way out here to really take it to Luscious. You have to imagine after uh, AJ Daniels took a loss in that Rush Division Fatal 4-Way, he's got something to prove. Yeah, and what he's going to prove is that he's going to take that mirror there of Luscious Lawrence's and stick it up his, his you-know-what. No. You have to imagine Dylan McQueen here, Luscious Lawrence aside, maybe a factor at ringside. AJ Daniels coming out here solo. We might see if Mr. McQueen becomes a distraction at some point. Yeah, it's hard to, I, I don't know anything about this, this Mr. McQueen. Uh, but, I mean, if his sass levels are any indication, he's going to be quite the headache for Mr. Zero Gravity. AJ Daniels, the first ever Rush Division champion. You got to imagine Lawrence would love to put on his resume, defeated the first ever Rush Division champion. Right. Have you ever had the dream of being a part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment? Take action and make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, Ohio Valley Wrestling, the birthplace of legends such as John Cena, Batista, Brock Lesnar, Cody Rhodes, The Miz, and many, many more. Will you be the next name to be added to that impressive list? Go to ASWA Live now for more information. Learn the right way. Do you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Then get on board with the Tax Admiral and let us steer your way to financial freedom. Helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS, are facing an audit, a lien, or levy, then call me right away. You're in charge with the Tax Admiral. Call me now for your free emergency consultation. Call 855-898-0188. All right, this Zero Gravity underway. versus the Iron Lion, Mr. Juicy, the sex pot himself. So you got Mr. Zero Gravity against the hips that defy gravity, Steven. Ah, there you go. Lawrence whips AJ Daniels off the ropes. No oh, ducks under. Leapfrog. Oh! Oh, got him with the tush push. Big old luscious booty to the face of AJ Daniels. The butt butt, if you will. I feel like you're just making these up at this yes, point. Yes, absolutely. Oh, big dropkick. AJ Daniels sends Luscious like reel into the corner. AJ Daniels up and over on his own. Lawrence out of the way. Oh. No. And a big kick. Lawrence walks right into it. AJ Daniels going over the top rope. Oh, oh, big corkscrew over the top rope. AJ Daniels goes for that quick pin. Lawrence kicks out at two. And there it is. Oh, and there's. We're, Old sassy. Oh, we're whoa. wondering if Dylan McQueen was going to be a factor here. Already making his presence known and distracting AJ Daniels. Oh, allows Lustus to recover and get that big boot to the face of Daniels. Oh, little gyration. Blockbuster. Huge blockbuster by Luscious Lawrence. Surprised Lawrence isn't capitalizing here, going for the pin, Stephen. That took the air right out of AJ Daniels. Oh, getting comforted by Mr. McQueen. Oh, instead. okay. All right. Now, Stephen, I got to wonder. He's do, tuning do you, up the, the band, he do says. Do you and Dylan oh. McQueen shop for suits at the same place? That oh, seems absolutely. Very, yeah, uh, I, I recognize the suit. I recognize the sparkly little bits. And I recognize the, the headpiece. It's, 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 it's very on brand for you. Oh, Dylan McQueen here now. Uh, oh, just a tiny slap, AJ Daniels. That's not going to do anything but just upset well, Mr. Zero more, Gravity. It's more demoralizing than anything. Right. 
All right, Lawrence rips AJ Daniels in the corner, but AJ Daniels up and over, not affected by oh, Mr. McQueen's big slap. Flip. Oh, takes out the leg there of Luscious sweet Lawrence. Sweet shin music, and then kicks to the chest. Uh, and another one. Oh, it's gonna cave in his chest with these. Uh, the gravity kicks, Steven. I think the crowd gets the gravity of this situation. They see Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence was really an edge of Daniels went for that spin kick, but Lawrence stops him. Oh, AJ Daniels with that spinning kick takes Lawrence off his feet. All right. Mr. McQueen on the outside seems to be a little upset by all this. AJ Taking Dan aback. AJ Daniels going to the top rope. Pirates maneuver here, Steven. Uh, Lawrence looks like grabbing the official there. Oh, McQueen oh. shoves AJ Daniels off the top. That's why it's high risk, Steve. Yep, Charlene McKenzie was distracted on the outside. Now we've got the Iron Lion, Mr. Juicy himself, going to the top rope. Oh, is he going for that big, juicy drop? Oh, no, no, there it is. Oh, big old juicy oh. drop, Steven, onto the former first Rush Division champion. So luscious, Lawrence. So juicy. Your winner, Lawrence luscious picks up the Lawrence. Now, Steven, I don't know if this was just Lawrence's night or having to do with the Queen of I gave him that little extra push for his tush, if you will. I see what you did there. And yeah, maybe having this Dylan McQueen in his corner is exactly what Luscious Lawrence needed to break to the next level. Luscious Lawrence picks up the win here on OVW Overdrive. Reinvigorator with Dylan McQueen at his side. We'll see what's next for the juicy one. AJ Daniels has to recoup and fight another day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with more OVW action here on Overdrive. Stay tuned. Champion Brian Kennison, take that Madison, take that Kayla Cassidy, take that Callie. To a lesser extent, the campaign was fun. All right. I'm, just, uh, I, I'm not, okay, I'm done. The, 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 the charade is over. Charade. So I was just messing with you, man. I, I thought you were going to handle it a little differently. I don't know why I thought that. It's not a rule. It's not, I mean, no rule book. It's not a thing. You're not the women's champion. You're not a woman. Uh, that's, I mean, that's one of many reasons why you're not champion. But yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I gotta go. I, ca I can't deal with this anymore. Lights! Where's my belt? I was a champion. <laughs> Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow, the wrestling brand.